that's not enough. Uh, I need about three for the... Good afternoon, everyone. Now then, I just... Uh, I just thought I'd go out for a bit of a ride today because the weather's not been that good recently but it's been quite sunny, it's just been very cold yeah, su suspiciously cold in fact because when I set off this morning on this supposedly routine little bit of fun ride out I noticed there was a very suspicious looking white film on the road so when I pulled up at the traffic lights and had a look, there it was in the little pits in the concrete. Uh, not concrete, in a tarmac. Grit. Road salt. Bloody council have been out and gritted the roads because it was a bit frosty the other morning. And I can see it here. It's, it's out. Lancashire County Council are very risk averse and they'll throw grit down at the merest hint of a cold night. And... Uh, and if uh, anyone previously subscribed to my channel long enough, they will know that uh, I don't ride through winter. I don't uh, make any kind of uh, excuses for it. I've done it for many, many years. I just don't do it anymore. There's no point in it. It's not pleasant. Uh, especially on modern sports bikes anyway. But uh, I usually get until about early December before this happens, but we're in the first week of November in the UK, and it's the, the gritted. So what, would turn, what was starting out to be uh, just a little routine ride is quite possibly my last ride of the year. Well, that's a very depressing thought, but I've been out for a nice ride, so I don't feel that bad. I feel quite happy, in fact. Because riding this bike always makes me feel happy. And over the year that has been 2016, uh, although the weather's been a, not the best summer ever, but I have got thousands and thousands of miles under my wheels and I've had a whale of a time, I really have. This uh, one is beautiful, it has been the absolute surprise of the season considering I started off on a really really nice Aprilia Tuona which I absolutely loved and I did, still do uh, this thing which if you actually watch the uh, original test ride first impressions little video I did on it I didn't like it but my god it's got under my skin, this bike is phenomenal, every single time I get it out of the garage I feel like I'm throwing my leg over Valentino Rossi's M1 it is that good if my uh, old Aprilia Tuono was a superbly balanced stainless steel double headed battle axe designed to club and slice your enemies into submission this thing is one of Hitori Hanza's very finest katana swords. It is just an absolute weapon and a joy to ride. I just feel so good at being on it. and uh, I've got used to the riding position. It no longer makes me feel uncomfortable. I've just moulded my body to it. I love this bike and I'm going to miss it so much over the next couple of months. And the way I feel right now is uh, I've never been chemically addicted to anything in my life. Uh, I've spoke to many people who have been, you know, drug addicts and stuff. It's been part of my work and such like over the years. Uh, and I've had this uniform experience described to me of uh, people who are going to kick the habit or are heading into a, a situation where they will no longer have access to their drug of choice. And whilst they're on their last high, they feel great. But there's that kind of anxiousness about it and, uh, because they know what's coming. They know that the withdrawal is going to be coming in the post. Uh, and the anticipation of that withdrawal is, is quite alarming and, and dangerous, if you will. And I kind of feel the same way about my motorbikes. Because I've been riding so much this year and I've loved every single mile that's gone underneath my wheels. Probably more than any year in, in recent history, really. 
but uh, I know that as happy as I am right now because I'm mooning about at my gorgeous R1 that it, there's a withdrawal going to be coming in the post because not only is the salt on the road but there's uh, Arctic flurries uh, that have been getting weather forecast warnings for for the next week because we're in a very the winds are all coming from the Arctic at the minute so that's it this is basically going to be the end of the riding season because once the salt's down it takes a good couple of weeks of hard rain to get rid of it like in spring so uh, this is it this is this is it this this is all I've got this ride that I've got home now which will take me about half an hour that's it that's all I've got until next spring so god damn I better make the most of it because the routine now is once I get the R1 home go on the fucking side of the road you prick once I get to uh, fucking throw me now did you see that dickhead then completely the wrong side of the road anyway uh, yeah so he gets a clean when I get home lots of water to rinse off the bits of salt that may have adhered because there's not much but it's definitely there so she, she, she does feel like a she, uh, will get a good clean, be allowed to dry, and we'll get a liberal coating of WD-40 on all the bare exposed metal bits, and she'll be taken to the garage and put under dust sheet until next spring. That's no way to treat, you can't keep an animal like this in captivity, it's cruel. So I'm just considering it that it's both she and I will be going into hibernation for the winter. I would normally ride my Tiger Explorer a bit longer into the year as well, but unfortunately there's a problem there as well because although there's still life in the tyres, uh, the front tyre is on its way out, it's the uh, Metzler Tourants that come stock the dual sport tyres. They've been okay, but the, the rear, which has got plenty of tread left on it, but it's completely flattened off in the middle. It's horrible when you tip it in. It feels like the bike's just suddenly about to lose the back end, and it's really unpleasant to ride. So consequently, Richard Parker, my, my big triumph, needs new tyres. And I don't feel inclined to pay for a brand new set of tyres which I would need to research because I'm not going to get those ones again because I don't take him off road uh, any normal road tyres will do on the sort of uh, gravelly fire tracks which is about the most extreme riding I'll do on it uh, so I need to research what tyres to put on it you know Angel GT's possibly is the one at the minute but anyway so I need to do all that just for another couple half a dozen rides top and also it's tax has run out so I'd need to re-tax it for a minimum of six months which is kind of I, I, I don't want to be giving the government a load of tax money just to ride the bike a couple of times so it looks like uh, Richard Parker is going to be off the road until next spring as well because unfortunately I've got no winter trips planned because I have a bit of an, uh, an expensive DIY project I need to do over the winter which is fit a new bathroom seriously I need to I've got a 1980s pink bathroom suite in my house it is awful so that's got to go and it's a job that, that is a job of the new year that so unfortunately it won't be uh, a trip away down south to the warmer climbs like I would have hoped to have done on my big tiger uh, but so that's pretty much about it for the year and it's a very sad sad day and once the joy of this little hoon and ride out that I've done today wears off Oh man, I'm going to suffer, I really am, um, because I am motorbiked to my very core. If I'm like a stick of Blackpool rock, and if uh, subscribers from overseas won't know what Blackpool rock is, it's basically a big long stick of hard candy, which uh, has the words Blackpool all the way through it. You can like, write a message in the candy and it... For every length of it, you break it in half, it still says whatever it says in the middle of it. Uh, well, that's me. I am 
I am biker to the core. You cut me any which way and it's biker. It says biker right through the middle of me. And I'm not going to be having any this winter. And oh wow. So I'm just going to have to absorb myself in YouTube videos and dream about past glories and look forward to the year ahead next year 2017 where there will be lots of track days there will be more traveling there'll be days out on the on the uh, r1 it's just you just got to be i'm gonna have to be patient that's all of this to it i will have to well, i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do usually what i do in winter is play video games and eat cheese <laughs> so it might be just that anyway this is actually the second attempt of doing this vlog because the first time i tried it, it sounded very very miserable uh, but i've had a blast about on the bike which has uh pepped me up no end i must say so ah, what to do everyone in the southern hemisphere enjoy your summer you lucky lucky people and for everyone in the northern miserable hemisphere, oh well, adios!